If you've ever watched the show Storage Wars or have ever been to a storage unit auction, you'll have some idea of the thrill that comes when the lock on the unit is busted open and the buyer gets to take a glance inside. Anything can be there in those little garages, from straight garbage to solid gold or antique guns. We've sifted through a number of the luckiest and most surprising things ever found in storage units, and let's take a glance. But before getting into the video, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications to get instant updates. Number 10. Antique Guns As featured on the US TV program Auction Hunters, one bidder traveled to Texas and walked away with valuable antiques, and the value of these antiques are estimated to be $200,000 nearly. The storage unit was found with the belongings of someone who was assumed to be a former World War II general. The unit contained a load of antiques dating back to the Civil War era. The estimated value is said to be more than $200,000. Documents signed by the U.S. presidents were some of the valuable antiques found. The four most notable finds were a spread of guns, including a Winchester Buffalo rifle, an antique slot car, and the estimated value of the haul alone is summed up to be $200,000. Number 9. Faceless Dollars Up next is one of the creepiest jackpots ever found. As featured on the show Storage Wars, a bidder paid $400 for an old truck which contained a shocking amount of $24,000 in dollar bills, except that the dollar bills have their faces cut out. Just in case you're unfamiliar, the show features auctions during which people bid on the abandoned contents of huge storage lockers, but only a few are lucky enough to find valuable goods or antiques. Laura Dotson, who runs the auction company for the show together with her husband Dan, told journalists that the customer paid $400 for the locker and shortly after discovered the mountain of money inside the trunk. Whoever owned the truck beforehand drilled the faces out of each and every dollar bill. It's unclear why, but we're told that the cash has not lost its face value and is still considered legal tenor despite losing the face. Apparently, a bank will accept bills with the faces cut out. If both serial numbers are still intact and therefore the bills pass as a series. Number 8. Elvis Presley Newspaper In the 10 seasons of the show, a lot of memorable items were found. In 2010, a major amount of newspapers was discovered in a storage unit from the identical day Elvis Presley passed away on August 16, 1977. The newspapers were in great and most significantly readable condition. They offered a flashback in time to what happened that day around the globe. The stack of newspapers ended up being valued at a whopping $90,000. Papers were in terrific condition, and Dave Hester turned a $750 gamble into a $90,000 appraisal. Number 7. The Frank Gutierrez Collection The unit was purchased way back in Season 3 by Daryl Sheets, the gutsy gambler whose presence has been a staple on the show over the years. He spent a paltry on reflection, a minimum of $3,600 on a locker that looked interesting but not particularly special. Imagine the shot's surprise when he discovered that it had been home to a full slew of paintings by Frank Gutierrez. When the proud new owner brought in an art expert to cost the stash out, the entire collection was worth up to $300,000. It remains one of the most important storage unit finds on record. Fortunately for him, the gamble certainly paid off when the collection was discovered. After some further investigation, Sheets shared on Twitter in December 2012 that he had discovered that the locker belonged to Gutierrez himself and was in contact with him over his rather valuable discovery inside the locker. Best part is I got to speak to Frank G, and I'm giving him back a lot of his personal items, and he is a very wonderful man, Sheets tweeted. Number 6. Beach Boys Memorabilia A massive collection of Beach Boys memorabilia was up for auction, with the band's first royalty check for $990, handwritten scores for hits like Good Vibration, personal photos and letters, and dozens of signed contracts. The treasure trove was discovered in a storage facility in Florida in 2000, and it features manuscripts and compositions for around 150 songs, record contracts, previously unseen photographs, and handwritten lyrics and letters, and is believed to be one amongst the most important collections of music memorabilia to ever be put up on auction. The storage unit was sold unopened to a buyer after a protracted run of missed storage payments. Well, to his luck, he found something of great value. There's a reserve price of almost 7 million pounds, so whoever buys these memorabilia will have to spend a record-breaking amount for a single collection. Number 5. Action Comic Number 1. Comic book collecting is a hobby where comic books are preserved as collectibles and are highly sought after. Though considerably more modern than the collecting of postage stamps or books, it has a significant following around the world today and is partially responsible for the increased interest in comics after the burglary which happened in 1980. 
Nicholas Cage's comic was stolen from his flat in 2000, and 11 years later in April, Cage's copy of Action Comic No. 1 was recovered in the San Fernando storage unit. The person who found the comic had bought the contents of an abandoned locker. Actor Nicholas Cage said it had been divine providence that a stolen vintage magazine was found 11 years later during a storage unit auction in Southern California. It's the primary Superman comic titled Action Comics No. 1 and it's worth considerably more than it had been then, said Fisher, who owns ComicConnect.com, the world's largest retailer of comics. In March 2010, he said his company broke the record for the four most expensive comic book for an additional copy of Action One for $1.5 million. These comics were then sold for over $2 million on a website devoted to comic collectors. Number 4. Pirate Treasure Usually, treasure hunters attempt to find sunken shipwrecks and retrieve artifacts with a market price. But luckily, one new bidder who wishes to stay anonymous purchased two storage units for around $1,700, only to find that one among the units contained a blue, rubber-made container crammed with Spanish coins, $500,000 worth of gold pieces, to be specific. While the coins were found within the unlikeliest of treasure chests, a rubber-made container, it had been said to be heavy enough that three men had to carry it. The reported find in Contra Costa County was so unexpected that although the auction was held by American auctioneers, the subject's A&E storage wars, there were no cameras present when the cash was discovered. These are the known contents of the containers. 16 gold doubloons, several silver Spanish dollars, and gold and silver ingots. And I'm sure the lucky bidder was laughing all the way to the bank. Number 3. Bugatti An abandoned 1937 Bugatti Type 57S Atalant, one among 17 built, was discovered in a garage in the UK after gathering dust for pretty much over 50 years. The car is simply one of 17 built in the world, and it was first owned by the primary president of Country Racing Drivers Club, Earl Howe. Eventually, the rare Bugatti would finally end up in the hands of Dr. Harold Carr, who drove it for some years and so placed it in the garage in 1960. When the surgeon passed away in 2007, his nephew was left with his garage along with his other possessions and he found the car inside the garage. It was offered for sale with an extensive file of correspondence documenting its history. The car has its original chassis, engine, drive chain, and body. The car even has what happens to be a remarkably low mileage with an odometer reading of just 26,284 miles. It was highly sought out by collectors as only 17 were ever made, and at least four of those are thought to belong to the Musée National de l'Automobile in Mulhouse, France. Others remain in the hands of private collectors. Number 2. 1976 Lotus Esprit – The James Bond Car Let me put this in an exceedingly interesting manner. This car was featured in the Bond movie, The Spy Who Loved Me. In 1989, an old couple from Long Island paid roughly $100 for an unclaimed storage unit. It was absolutely a blind auction, meaning neither they nor the vendor had any idea as to what was inside. After they opened the door and to their pleasant surprise, they found a 1976 Lotus Esprit sports car tucked beneath a pile of blankets. The sports car, one in every of eight utilized in the filming of the Roger Moore Bond movie, but the sole one that operated in underwater scenes had been put within the storage unit after filming and remained there, forgotten for over a decade until the couple came along. The couple had no idea what they had purchased, and they were no cinephiles themselves to release it was used in an actual James Bond movie. So, they sought the expertise of Ian Fleming Foundation founder, Doug Reed Aeneas, who later authenticated the vehicle. Later, the discovery eventually caught the eye of Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk, who grew up watching the films. In 2013, he put on an anonymous bid on the car, offered an amount of $997,000 for the aquatic vehicle. Number 1. A 1927 Harley Davidson this 1927 Harley-Davidson 8-valve racer with sidecar had been left unattended in a storage unit for more than 50 years before being discovered in the spring of 2015 in Melbourne, Australia. The circa 1927 FHA 8-valve V-twin racer with a scramble-type sidecar attached is reputedly one of 50 examples built by the American manufacturer, some say considerably less, from 1916 to 1928. Presumably, delivered new through Millage Brothers of Melbourne, the circa 1927 example being auctioned by Shannons is one among the last of eight valve racers built, making it a tough competition and highly sought after by collectors. The rusted light green motorbike is one among the handful of Harley-Davidson 1000cc eight valve racers left in the original condition. 
Almost after 90 years, it was built and after a fierce competition at the Melbourne auction, the 1927 Harley-Davidson FHA 8-valve V-twin racer was sold to an Australian bidder for a whopping $600,000. Well, there we have it. The 10 luckiest storage unit finds of all times. Have you participated in a storage auction before? And if not, would you give it a shot now? Leave a like and let us know within the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.